Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sneha and today I'm going to share some tricks on how to apply a nude lipstick on pigmented lips and if you have brown skin tone like mine without making it look like concealer lips and making it a little bit more appealing. So if you'd like to see how, please continue watching. I've already done a video where I've shared all my favorite nude lipsticks. So if you'd like to watch that, I'm going to link it as a card right here. And in that video, I'd asked you if you'd like a part two for that video, where I show you how I can make an unflattering shade work on my pigmented lips. And most of you guys, whoever <laughs> replied, did say yes. So here it is. Now for this, you would need a nude lipstick of your choice. You pretty much may have one that you thought would look flattering on you based on other reviews or blogs that you've seen, but ended up not working for your pigmented lips or for your skin tone. So get that out. Today we're going to make that work. And for this, you will need a lip liner. Now look for a shade that is darker than the darkest portion on your lip. That I would say is pretty much a good guideline when picking up a shade of lip liner. I do have suggestions for you guys and I've picked up these out from my kit and from my personal use. And all of these four work on my skin tone and also on the level of pigmentation I have on my lips. So if you have something similar in tone, these will work for you. So the four that I have here, the first one is Cork by MAC. And I will show you swatches for these in a minute. The second one is this lip liner called Toast by Coastal Sense. It looks quite dark here, but I'll show you the swatch. The third one is the NYX lip liner. This is the shade Brown, simple. And the fourth lip liner is by MAC and it's the shade Chestnut. Now, if you have similar skin tone as mine, I would say you probably need one of these guys. So the first three options that I showed you, but if you have deeper skin tone than mine, then chestnut looks beautiful. I would highly recommend it. Actually, it's a bestseller, I believe, for women of color. So I mean people darker than maybe NC45, NC50. Chestnut will look beautiful as a lip liner and it'll work with many of your lipsticks. So these are the swatches. So from the lightest to the darkest, we have MAC lip liner in the shade Cork. Then we have Coastal Sense lip liner in the shade Toast followed by NYX lip liner in the shade brown. And lastly, we have MAC lip liner in the shade chestnut. So these are the four lip liners. So I'm going to show you the demo with two lipsticks. So they are right here in my palette. The second one right here in the top row, which is this one, is MAC Sis lipstick. And then this one, which is MAC lipstick in the shade Yush. So as you can see, these two tones, they're very similar to my skin, especially the first one, Sis, but I'll still want to show you how to use something as light as that. So yeah, these are the shades we're going to work with. And the key to making these lipsticks work is to use a lip liner. So for the first lipstick shade, which is MAC lipstick in the shade Sis, I'm going to use this lip liner by MAC called Cork, and this is what that tone looks like. It's quite brown in tone and I chose this one just because it sits well with this particular lipstick. So if I bring it closer, you can see that the tones are similar. So I'm using the second lipstick right here and the slip liner. So this is what the MAC Sis lipstick looks on me on its own. So no lip liner. Very concealer-esque. <laughs> so this is definitely not the look we're going for. So what do you want to do with the lip liner? is line your entire lips with it. And at this stage, if you want to overdraw or balance out your lips, feel free to do so. Now, once you've lined the lips, uh, between the lightest portion of my lips versus the line, there is the pigmentation showing through. So I do want to cover that up also with this lip liner. So depending on your lips, you may have the pattern differently. Just focus on covering the darker bits with the lip liner. Next, I'm going to blend it out with a lip brush. So 
So you're going to bring the shade in towards the center of the lips where you didn't apply the lip liner. Okay, so this is what the lips should look like. So it's completely covered with the lip liner essentially right now. Next, I'm going to take a small amount of the lipstick. So just taking it on the same brush and starting to apply it towards the center of the lips. You can press your lips together so it transfers. Now for this first layer, I do want to blend it in with the lip liner. So I am taking the lipstick towards the edge of the lips, but not completely to the edge. I still want the lip liner to be at the outer edge. So this is what that should look like. And then just taking a little bit extra and dabbing it to the center of the lips. sun's coming out of it. So I'm just going to reduce the brightness on my video. Okay, that's better. Next I'm just going to clean up the lipstick on the brush. Just wipe it on a tissue. And then I'm running the clean brush over the edge where the lip liner meets the lipstick. You can also do it with your finger to be a little quicker and this is it now I'm going to show you how to make this lipstick work and this is the shade Yash by MAC by itself. With this lipstick, I'm going to use a NYX lip liner. This is the shade Brown. This is what that looks like. This is one of my favorite lip liners and it goes with so many lipsticks. So this is the shade of the lipstick and that's the shade of the lip liner. Just to see how much more deep of a tone I'm using. So I'm going to line my entire lips with this. And again, just fill out the corners of the mouth. I'm then going to blend out the lip liner with the slip brush. Blending it towards the center. Take some lipstick and start applying it to the center of the lips. With this lipstick, I do want to make the corners a little bit more darker. So I'm going back in to the lip liner. Just applying it to the outer corners of the lips, just to make it a little bit more three-dimensional. And I switched to a red lip because I have to head out, but I forgot to film the outro. So here I am in a red lipstick. But I really hope this video was useful, especially to those of you guys who asked for the part two from my previous video. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me